band Stalker. And what is Stalker? Um, Stalker is um, madness. My name is Sandy, and I'm 24 years old, and uh, I'm an immigrant, and I live in America, and I love it. Huh. All right. Talk about Romania. 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 Romania is one of those countries nobody really knows where it is. They just know about Dracula, you know? Dracula is cool. Whatever you think of Russia as being is pretty much what Romania is, which means it's pretty miserable. There's not a lot of hope. And uh, doctors make about 50 bucks a month there, which, would, which is what my mom is. She's a doctor. She makes 50, you know, the equivalent of $50 a month there. So life is really, is really entrenched in a daily miserable routine that keeps you going. There is no life for artists. There is no life for music. Things like that are discouraged. Since I was a kid, I always asked my mom, you gotta let me learn an instrument or something like that. I was really into it. because we had a tape out when we first got together we were like 17 years old and uh, we put this tape together and we were pretty good at it so a lot of people really liked it and it started to circulate we ended up getting all these letters from all these uh, countries you know we had no idea how this stuff got there because we never we sent a couple out but not not to all these countries so obviously the black market was going on and uh, they sent us a bunch of letters and I got let's see what I what I have here. Um, I got some from Japan in here. Oh, I, I got I got one from Russia. I should read maybe. Those are pretty cool. Cause you know they don't get much over there except for the black market, and they pay an arm and a leg for it. They pay like I don't know, thirty, forty dollars for a tape or something like that. Let's see. Hello, it is a rock music fan from USSR. Please. Send me by mail a video cassette of your album. I'll be also glad to receive from your ads, booklets, posters, and photos. Thank you very much. I got a letter from Romania once from a fan in Romania. Can you believe that? In in English, describing the whole situation there, like gorgeous penmanship, like it was insane, you know. He was talking about how they have to travel to the border to get shipments and stuff, you know. Play it. Well, I always wanted to play an instrument since I was little, as I said before. My, my mom always promised me that she would take me to uh, either violin lessons or piano or guitar, anything. I wanted to play anything, anything. She wouldn't do it. She wouldn't do it. So I guess this kind of stuck with me. And uh, in eighth grade, no, ninth grade, when I first started high school, I had only been in this country for a year at that point. So I watched a lot of TV and ate a lot of junk food. And uh, I had no friends whatsoever because I couldn't really speak too well. So 
So the, when I first got my first friend in high school, he showed me a tape of his cousin who played guitar. And uh, he was really good. He was really, really good. And I, it hit me for some reason that I could do that. It, for some reason, I don't know where I just thought, I can do this. So I just took the tape to my dad and I said, Dad, look, I need a guitar and an amplifier and I'll be fine. And uh, I got him, a little tiny amp, and it was, you know, cheap electric guitar. And it was perfect, it was perfect. I didn't let it go for years. Well, <clears throat> the plan is, besides the obvious of ruling the world and making millions of dollars, um, well, actually, that's pretty much the plan. Uh, we want to just, uh, we want to get a some sort of distribution deal to be able to have everybody hear this stuff, you know? And then we want to we wanna go to Europe. We definitely want to go to Europe. Europe is like a reoccurring theme, I think, in everybody, because we're all from Europe originally. And uh, it's just, every time we watch TV, we're like, wow, look at that. Prague, France, you know, Paris, England. We want to we want to go there and <laughs>